Hello everyone and welcome to Usatility. Today we are going to see how to play PUBG Mobile on PC using the brand new Bluestacks 5, that is designed for blazing fast speed and high octane action. We will be able to easily download and install PUBG Mobile and enjoy the game on our Windows PC with keyboard, mouse and big screen thanks to Bluestacks 5, which is the Android emulator that we recommend to play PUBG Mobile. So without further ado, let's get to it. Before anything else folks, the first thing to do is to launch our favorite browser. We selected the one we use by default. Let's continue, going to the next URL I'm highlighting in green color. There you are seeing it on the screen of the PC. There is no need to type it, because there's the clickable link in the description of this video and the first main comment. We ended up there on our site of Usatility, where we find here a precise explanation on the best way to obtain PUBG Mobile on personal computer. We search lower a bit and press on the download game on PC button. Once clicking on the link, we get to the website of Bluestacks, which the Android emulator that we will launch to get access to that game PUBG Mobile on our PC. It is now obvious that we access a great deal of pros of preferring using that emulator. So we are ready to proceed to download the PUBG Mobile by simply clicking on the button play on Bluestacks that you can see here in green. We then click on that button. Of course, the download action takes no time at all. Here it is, here is located the download. It's a file we have to execute. The following step is to run the installer. OK, then we click on this file. Windows 10 users will be asked for permission to make modifications to the device. We have clicked yes. I minimize the internet browser to see the installation software much better. The installation software is straightforward. It is made up of two possibilities, install and setup path. I will clarify what setup path truly does. We basically just simply click on it. And so we note that we have here the path where in fact the emulator will be set up. If we would you like to vary this directory we have got to click on this, browse, option. Therefore we select another folder and set up the emulator precisely where we choose. I will set it by default. I click on back. And therefore I click on install. Great. The installation begins and it will commence along with the download of these MB which are shown on that computer screen. At the time you download it, it is likely to be a bit more or less megabytes. The data transfer speed will go faster or slower, based on your internet and according to the efficiency of the emulator hosting servers. Today they are going extremely fast. The download is finished, and now it proceeds with the installation phase. With Bluestacks 5 you can even reduce RAM usage with a single click. Especially useful if you ever face performance related problems. In addition, you can activate Eco Mode to enjoy 87% reduced CPU usage, 97% reduced GPU usage and easier multitasking. As you can see, Bluestacks 5 is built to provide stability and performance during long gaming sessions. The installation has already finished for me. At this point, the emulator has been started automatically. As you will notice, down here, there's a progress bar that will move forward to the right so when it attains the finish, the emulator can be launched for the first time. The reality is the emulator has already been started, here it is for the very first time. Before we continue on, as you can see, it created two app icons there on the computer desktop. The Bluestacks and Bluestacks Multi Instance. Note that the Bluestacks icon will be one we're concerned about. When we have to launch PUBG Mobile on the desktop or laptop, we twice mouse click on this particular icon and therefore launch the emulator. The Bluestacks Multi Instance icon allows you to launch multiple emulator instances. And with Bluestacks 5's new improved multi-instance manager in eco mode, players can run more game instances faster and with less lag. We should do the following step, which is a must-have, and which is to entry the Google Play Store. And we'll click on Play Store. As you will notice the Google Play is launched. At this point we have to log on. At present when we're here, we must absolutely execute this next step that is imperative. So that we simply click on, sign in. At this point it says, checking info. It might sometimes get stopped at checking info, and so it doesn't advance. In that case, you can attempt to log in in after a number of hours it's going to very likely be repaired. At this point we are going to provide our username and password. The email ought to be a Gmail email address as well as its related password. As an example you could use the same exact email address you're using at the moment in your YouTube account. Therefore I will enter my data and I will come back immediately after I have accomplished it. Voila, info entered. Below is Google welcoming us and offering us their terms of service. We should consent to them all by simply hitting, I agree. After that, it offers us to back up to the Google Cloud. 
You can keep it selected and it'll make a backup of your data files on this device to Google Drive. I won't select it, you do what you want. We just click on accept. The Google Play Store is launched automatically and automatically. To set up the app, we had to get to the Android emulator desktop by simply clicking on the app icon indicated in green. At present that we are discovering the desktop of the Android emulator, we see that we find there the install application button. We simply click on that button. Listed here we have got the game. How about we click right here on the install option that I'm just presenting now in green color. That click will commence the installation. Straight away it will download on your laptop or computer and set up the game app. It will take quite some time or perhaps it might well be almost immediate. This all varies on our own connection to the internet. This has just completed setting up. It's time to go back to the emulator desktop by pressing this option that I am showing in green, to be able to use PUBG Mobile for the first time. I am at present on the emulator desktop, and as a consequence we're going to click the brand new PUBG Mobile icon that was generated. That game is started for the first time. Here we end up with it. I could click anywhere on the screen and also make use of the keyboard. I am going to comment on the volume level of the emulator. This is right here. We have the icon of higher volume along with the icon of lower volume. This manner we don't count on the Windows volume to increase or decrease the music of your emulator. And also to take pleasure in the experience to the fullest, we will turn on the large monitor, for which we have two choices. This one is actually the first one. We mouse click on this app icon which I'm showing in green color. Thus the monitor is maximized, having one border at the top, one at the right and the third one at the bottom. Supposing that we want to have fun with the game using all the screen, we select this particular application icon. And we might presently be enjoying the gameplay in 100% screen mode. To quit the 100% screen functionality, click the F11 key. And we might now be in standard display mode. At present, I am choosing to clarify you the keyboard mapping that is surprisingly useful. That means we will likely be ready to play the game app much more effortlessly. The first point is to press this app icon. It's now time to get the necessary setups. I can keep the standard settings, though if you choose to modify this, you can easily do this with no problem. Clearly, the emulator is entirely in our language. Occasionally it happens that your emulator is launched in the erroneous language, such as, in Japanese. Then to set it in the appropriate language we click here to the cogwheel. So here inside of other configuration settings, we just click the language drop down. We can easily pick the language we wish, German, Mandarin, and so forth. After the language is selected, we could save, the emulator will reboot, and also the game application, the next time we run it, will also be in the specified language. At this time, there is another information that we must take into consideration, and it is that we will get a message from Google Mail telling you that a brand new machine has been associated with this Google account. It will certainly question us if we're the individuals who have connected that device. Yup, we ought not worry, simply because the emulator is emulating an Android device. And then to see which tablet or smartphone is being emulated, we come back right here, to the cogwheel and we simply click on it. Be sure you browse here to the model option. And now we see that the emulator is behaving like a Samsung mobile phone. And so we're going to receive an email saying that a new Samsung device has been connected to our Google account. This is it folks, so much for our tutorial. I hope that you appreciated it, specifically that you thought it was informative. If that's sir, allow it a pleasant like, subscribe to my channel, and I will be happy to answer all your feedback, requests or ideas, put them in the comment field below. Simply click on any of the online videos that are showing up on the screen and see you in the future video tutorials. Bye.